This 57-year-old male with a history of hypertension, gout, and heavy alcohol use developed recurrent episodes of pancreatitis and a 35-pound weight loss. This CT scan demonstrated a pancreatic pseudocyst. Ten days prior to transfer, he passed multiple melanic stools. The upper endoscopy was unremarkable, as well as the biliary tree seen here. The referring physician reported seeing fresh blood issuing from an opening adjacent to the main papilla. Injection here filled the pancreatic duct, revealing this cast within the duct in this cystic structure. Given his history of alcohol-induced recurrent pancreatitis, the demonstration of a pseudocyst, the report of melana, and now this ERCP revealing a cast within the pancreatic duct, the diagnosis of hemosuccus pancreaticus, or hemorrhage into the pancreatic duct, is secured. Several days later, this study was repeated. Here one can see the normal appearing ampulla, but off to the right are areas of patchy inflammation and erythema. The minor papilla was visualized, and using a taper catheter The minor papilla was cannulated and the Santorini duct injected. Contrast fills this duct, revealing not only a pancreas divisum anatomy, but also this cystic structure, the pseudocyst seen on the CT images. A slow motion review of the sequence clearly demonstrates the precise location of the pseudocyst. Note the cast is passed from the pancreatic duct. A mesenteric angiographic study of the celiac axis demonstrates a normal anatomy with no aneurysmal dilation or contrast extravasation. Hemosuccus pancreaticus is a rare cause of gastrointestinal bleeding. While associated with chronic pancreatitis due to alcohol or tropical pancreatitis in 60% of the reported cases, the disorder can also be observed in patients with a history of traumatic injury, familial pancreatitis, and neoplasia. Rupture of a spontaneous splenic artery aneurysm into a normal pancreas has also been reported. The primary defect is usually an aneurysmal dilation of a peripancreatic vessel caused by an adjacent area of pancreatic injury spontaneous erosion of a tumor nodule, or as in this case, a pseudocyst, can result in massive hemorrhage. Treatment of the vascular defect with angiographic embolization is usually successful, often reserving surgery for failure or situations not radiologically approachable.